In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can decorate a gorgeous Christmas tree step by step. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm a Christmas design expert and seasonal decorator here to help you feel more comfortable about your designs. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to decorate a gorgeous, fun, and whimsical Christmas tree step by step. For this particular Christmas tree, I chose a beautiful cake theme. It is perfect if you have little girls, or if you just like a little bit of a feminine Christmas this year, this is perfect for you. I know you're going to love it. So if you are interested in how to decorate a gorgeous Christmas tree, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends on Facebook, on Instagram, and on WhatsApp, so they too can come and join the fun. You guys, so far this year we've decorated a traditional Nutcracker Christmas tree. We've done a beautiful Glam Rose Gold and Gold Christmas tree. We've also done a blue and white Christmas tree that was just absolutely gorgeous. And we also shared the Christmas trends for 2024. If you have not seen any of those videos, I'm going to link them down below so that you too can catch up with all of the Christmas fun. And be sure to turn the notification below because you will not want to miss all of the upcoming Christmas videos coming your way. For this video, I'm gonna take you on a trip to Shinoda Design Center where they allowed us to come and shoot some videos for you. And remember, all the product used in this video is from them. I'm going to put their phone number down below in case that you are interested. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started with this gorgeous Christmas tree, you guys. And if you've been following the channel, you know that I like to start with the ribbon first. And I just wanna share with you my hero ribbon. Look how absolutely gorgeous this is. I love the little piping on the outer edge and the polka dots is going to be super sweet since this is for a little girl. You know that every year I like to do something whimsical that way, well, Christmas is for the kids. So if you have any daughters in your home or you're just a girly girl, this is perfect for you. So what I was gonna mention to you is that I always like to have my four step process, which is ribbons first, ornaments second, stems, picks, and florals third, and then at the end we add our accent ribbon. So for this particular theme, like I said, we're going to do like a cake theme. So I'm gonna start right here on the top. This tree's a little tall for me, so I'm gonna have to start right about here and I'm going to attach my wire and then I'm going to do a loop right here. I'm gonna attach with the bristle. When I should, this loop is gonna be about eight inches. Then I'm going to do another one right here, grabbing a bristle, the ones that have, not the really stiff ones, but the ones that you can really bend. So we're gonna do that right there. And you know what? I'm gonna bring my scissors over to my pocket because I always, always, always <laughs> end up losing them. You guys, I've been having so much fun this season sharing with you all of these DIYs for Christmas. I really hope that you are getting inspired for the holiday season. Please be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what is going to be your Christmas theme this year so that way I can get to work on it. What theme would you like to see for Christmas? And I will get on it and see if we can get those themes ready. So I did a poll over on Instagram. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, come follow me because that's where I do all the polls. And I ask you guys what themes you want to see and all of that good stuff. And so something girly was one of the winners. And so that's why we're doing this particular theme because this is going to be something girly. Um, my cousin just had a little girl. So that's where I was inspired for this particular theme. So I'm gonna go do one loop right here. Then I'm gonna do another one over on this side. And just so you know, there's going to be a whole playlist down on the description box below so that you can get inspired for other themes. If you have a boy, there's the Grinch. We have some um, peppermint candy. There's all kinds, but if you are like me and if you like more of the elegant Christmas and there's some glam ones, there's some traditional ones that we did. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm doing like a one loop bow. And I'm gonna grab my wire and I'm going to wire my one loop bow and I'm gonna go over to this side. I did two going that way. And so now I'm going to go over to this side. I'm gonna start right about here. I'm gonna grab my bristle, my wire and wire that together like that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a loop, grabbing one of these bristles I'm going to attach, making sure those loops are really fluffy, you guys. We want this to look very cakey, like some 
cake decorator came and put some ribbon on our Christmas tree. I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna cut and then we're going to dovetail once again. How sweet is this ribbon? You can find this ribbon at Shinoda Design Center. Uh, I'm gonna leave their information down below. If you've been watching this series, you know that they allowed us to come and shoot in their warehouse. That way we can come up with more ideas, you guys, for you. At the end of the day, all I'm trying to do is sell you the techniques and the ideas, and that way you can call our friends here at Shinoda and they can help you with a product if that's something you want to do. All right, so I'm gonna grab another one right here. I'm gonna fluff that guy. Like I said, I want this to look almost like icing on a cake, because we do have that cake theme going on. All right, so I'm gonna go right here. Look how easy, you guys. All you have to do is loops, attach with the bristle, do another loop, cut your tail out of that tail, like that, and let it, I'm gonna come forward. So I think I'm going to do one right here on the center. So that way it's the focal point on our tree. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna do a cute little loop. Then I'm going to grab a wire. It's so important that you have all your tools at the ready, you guys. Especially if you're out decorating for your customers or clients, then I really do recommend to have all of your tools at the ready. You want to be that really efficient cost um, decorator because that way word of mouth if you are doing this for a business you know that somebody tells someone else and before you know it you're what i call booked and blessed the holiday season if you're a decorator you want to be booked and blessed and the best way to do that is by word of mouth right all right so i'm gonna add this one right here and so now I'm gonna put this one over to the side. I'm gonna bring the second ribbon, which is going to be our accent ribbon. And it's this beautiful glitter pink. Go ahead and drop it on the floor. Don't baby your ribbons because that is like the worst thing you can do is trying to not get your ribbons, you know, wrinkled or whatever. We can always fluff at the end. All right, so for this next ribbon, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do two loops. We started with one single loop. So now we're going to do two loop bows. As you guys can see and always twist and make sure that you bring that pattern forward because that's the way that we're going to oops i have two wires to um have the most bang for your buck you grab that wire so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start right where i added my ribbon right here i'm going to attach another one as you guys can see so it looks like one big bow with fluff and then instead of going the other way, I'm going to go the opposite way. Remember what happens on the right happens on the left. And that way, oh, my scissors. We always dovetail this guy right here. See, and how it looks like a big bow. I'm gonna do it one more time on the other side so you can see it. So we start with a dovetail ribbon. And then what we want to do is do a two loop bow. They are about maybe I wanna say six inch loops. You bring all of that forward, you grab your wire, tools at the ready, as I always say, and then you come over to where you joint right here, and then you attach another bristle and see how it looks now, like a big bow right here. And so now what you wanna do is you, you have this loop going down, you wanna come over to the other side and start creating those beautiful loops like this this ribbon technique will really help fill in the tree and that way we'll use less ornaments and picks because we want that tree to be the star of the show by adding this gorgeous ribbon so if you just learned this technique you guys secret the other day we were cutting tags and it was like this bam and i cut my finger and it's done for days i cut it really deep the things i do for not paying attention so now every time i'm cutting a tag just make sure that I'm looking at that scissor. I'm gonna do it one more time. So remember the first round of ribbon is a single loop. Now we're going to do two loop bows and we grab that wire and we pull back. Let's see, where can I do one? I'm gonna do one right here on this side. I'm gonna join it right, instead of joining it right here because it was too close, I'm gonna join it right here. And that's really gonna help us make it look like a big bow and grab that stem right there. And so now, remember, this one goes to the north. This is going to go to the south. And as I told you in our previous videos, 
This is our Julia Roberts ribbon, which is like our, our hero ribbon, what I call. That is the start of the show. The other one is more like a supporting actress, but this one is our Julia Roberts. <laughs> the things I think, you know, those are the things I think about as I am decorating. My internal voice is just telling me, say this, say this. And I was like, what if I say that and I offend someone? All right, this is going to be the one for the very top. So what I'm going to do, I want to kind of create a fluffier bow. So I'm going to do a three loop bow. So that's a two loop bow. That's what we've been doing. So now I'm going to do a third loop. And then I'm going to grab my tail. And I'm going to attach all of this together. And look, you guys, just with a ribbon, we're already creating that girly, girly look. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach to the very top right here to kind of continue that bow, making sure that I attach really good to my ribbon, to my um, stem. And so now I'm going to bring this guy right here, create a loop, attach with my bristle. And this one, I'm just going to cut right here. I don't want it to interfere with the other ones. You bring it forward to this side like that. All right. So I have a few strings of ribbon, but you know, I'm going to repeat on the other side to make an even bigger bow. What Christmas tree that is dedicated to a little girl would not be bowy, right? So we're going to do another loop like this, a three loop bow. And it's going to be just enough. Look at that. We've, we got this look with one bolt of Julia Roberts ribbon, or what I call the hero ribbon, and then one bolt of supporting actress. In this case, this cute little stripe. And I'm just going to add this bow right here to the top. And that's going to help us create a bigger bow on the top. And look at that. Isn't that yummy? I just love the little bows all throughout the tree. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ornaments ready and I'll be right back with you. Keep watching. All right, so we're done with the ribbon technique. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ornaments. And for that, I selected this iridescent clear. And you guys, this is going to be super easy and quick because I don't have as many ornaments for this tree. But the ornaments that I did pick, they're so pretty. Like this iridescent, look how this catches the light. And it really sells that fantasy of like bubbles and of cake. And so once again, you want to make sure that you go up and down. What happens on the right happens on the left. And I always tell you to always, always, always add oops, one ornament at a time. That way you create balance within your Christmas tree. So every time I just add like this particular ornament right here, I'm going to add one at a time with that wire remember that wire is your best friend because it really helps you to put that ornament in that specific spot where you want it and this particular iridescent ornament i learned you guys the other day that creating iridescent ornaments is actually more expensive than creating just clear ornaments so you're going to pay a little bit more for your iridescent but look what that does it really does catches the light in a way that no glass just clear glass does all right, so the next one I'm going to add is this white that it has like an iridescent white glitter, like a mica flake. And I'm telling you, having this wire already on your ornaments, it really is the best thing you can do. And remember, I always tell you to add your ornaments in clusters. What you want to do is like every time that you add an ornament, like right here, I want to get closer to it and add another one because they become like best friends and they start to create more of a story than if you were to do just one ornament at a time or by itself. Like if you poke at them, they don't look as good as they do. Like, look, I am always looking for a spot where there is another ornament. So I'm gonna add this guy right here. I have a few more of these white iridescents. So I'm going to add, let's see, one over here on this side. You probably might not be able to see it right now, but you will when I give you that close up. And if it is for your home, when your guests come, they will be able to see those ornaments. Okay, I'm gonna add this guy right here with my wire. Now this that I have is one of my favorites. It's also just a clear glass. Now, because this is a clear glass, what you want to do is you want to bring them as forward on the tip of your tree as possible. And that way they will really catch the light. 
You don't want to push them too far into the tree because if you do that, you're going to lose them. So what you want to do is grab a branch like this one right here, and then you go like this. You put it down and see how that all show that ornament. And then also don't forget to go down like this. How pretty. Thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this series of Christmas trees this year. You know holidays is my favorite time of the year and I wait all year long to bring you guys all of these ideas and you just wait to see some of the themes that we've done. Um, I just cannot wait for you guys to see all of it. All right, so now I have this really pretty onion shape, like a finial onion. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to grab a specific spot like right here. And I'm going to wire that ornament. And look, let it dangle like that and see how it catches the light. Because it's iridescent. It really picks all of that uh, pink color from it. Let me grab one right here. And I always tell you when there are glass ornaments, do a double swirl to your um, ornament. Let me see, I'm gonna put one where you can see it really good so I can show you. I'm gonna add this one right here. So I'm gonna do one to my left, which is what I normally do, but for a glass one, you do two, and then you put down, and see how these two create a cluster right there, it looks so pretty. All right, so now I'm going to add this one. I'm gonna add it right here, dead center. One, two, back. So easy. Look how cute just a few ornaments made this feel. And I'm gonna grab, Jameson, will you grab me the, uh, the cakes, please? I'm gonna put this one on the floor over here. Uh, come over here so people, you can come and say hi. Give it up for Jameson, everybody. He's been helping out. And I'm ringing the sweets. He's been hanging out, uh, hanging out and helping this season. Thank you. Absolutely. So this is the inspiration for this. Look, you guys, how cute are these cakes? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a spot like here and then I'm going to grab my, this comes with a string. You cannot wire these guys. So basically what you want to do is you want to go as far back, put it on a tip and then bend it. And that way it's going to allow you to put your cake right there. I'm going to do it one more time. So you grab, oh, there's some tacks in it. You grab your cake, your stringy that comes in here. And then I'm going to lift up right here. And I'm going to grab a, bristle on the back and then I'm going to bend it and that's going to hold it in place. It's super easy. Don't go too crazy trying to figure out what you have to do is just grab this plastic string that already provided for you, grab a bristle and then bend that bristle back and that's going to allow you to put your ornament wherever you want it to be. Right, I'm going to do one more. Let's see where else, where else? I want to do one up here all the way in the top but how do I do that all you have to do is grab a bristle bend it back look how cute that is okay one more let me see I'm gonna add one right here so I'm gonna look for a bristle I can insert that and then bend back then I'm gonna fluff my ribbon again and see how that stayed where I put it all right so I'm gonna do now some wedges that I have these are also super adorable. Look, you guys. Aren't these so good? They look like you can eat them. All right, so for these ones, I do want them to dangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this branch right here. What you do is you put that stringy in there, and then you go around, around a few times until it looks like it's growing from it. Look at that. It'll stay there. How literally sweet is this? I'm going to add one right here. So I'm gonna grab this right here. I'll show you, you grab your tip and then you just go around, around a few times like this until you can go any further. And then that way you're gonna put your wedge right there. And I'm gonna go one right here on the bottom. Also what you can do is put it where you want it and then you just twist that and then you bend your branch. That's gonna hold your wedge right there. Now I have also this really pretty, um, it's almost like a candy, what do you call this type of candy? It's a uh, sprinkles, yes. sprinkles. Has some sprinkles and what I'm going to do is chung, 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 chung. I have a cousin who every time she was cooking, she would make some noises, like ding, ding, ding. And then she said that it, the food would taste better if you made those noises. 
<laughs> and so for the longest time when we were kids, like we all made those noises thinking that we would really make the food taste better. All right, you guys, so I'm going to put right here. I'm gonna go over to this side and add a few of these really pretty ones. I'm gonna put this one right here. I'm gonna bend it and I'm just gonna go ahead and let it drop like that. So it's right in the center. And let me see, let me get away from it for a second to see where else, you know what? I need one on the top, but I'm not tall enough. Let me see, I have to put it right here. Yes, all right. So I'm gonna set that one right there. How cute is this? I can't. All right, there's one last wedge that I think I'm gonna put over here. I'm just gonna let it drop in here, fold that tip, and I'm gonna put it right there so it looks cute. All right, so now I'm gonna get my favorite step, the third step, which is the pick stems and florals, and I'll be right back with you. Keep watching. Okay, so up until this point, every time that I decorate a Christmas tree, I tell everybody, trust the process, because right now it looks pretty packed but flat. It is when we start adding our picks and stems and florals that we really give our tree the dimension. Look at that. Just by adding this one pick, I'm gonna go over here. Remember to go from the front to the back. What goes up must come down and making sure that you fluff those bows. I don't wanna disturb my ribbons too much. But what I was telling you is, these picks is what makes the tree really come alive and it gives it that three dimension. Now my recommendation is to use at least three types of picks uh, per tree to add the more texture to your tree. I'm gonna go one up and then let's see, I'm gonna go over to this side again. I always like to go what happens on the right happens on the left. And when I add these stems, you guys, I always give them a little bit of a twist because that way it has the more texture, what we call in the industry, the money maker. I'm gonna add one all the way to the top and I'm going to come over this way and see where else I need one of these picks. I'm gonna add it all the way to the bottom right here. All right, my next pick is going to be this super cute foliage that has that cake feel to it. Look at that, isn't that cute? It's like super girly and adorable and I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to start adding these picks right here. I'm gonna take this tag off because it won't let me go in. Right here, look at that. It just brings out everything that you put on your tree. Now with this particular one, I do want you to go ahead and fluff because you give these foliages more character by doing that. So I started right here. I'm going to go one up and I'm gonna go right here. Remember that when you are decorating your Christmas trees from this point on up, you have to face your ornaments and your picks going up. And from here down, they have to face down. And that's going to give your tree so much more depth and dimension and texture and all of the things, all of the tricks and all of the tips like Jameson. Jameson likes to make fun of me because I always say tips. Uh, you know, if I have a Spanish channel, it's called El Hogar de Ramon, which is kind of hard because I have to speak Spanish and I always say tips, tips y trucos, which is tips and tricks. But that's true, you guys. I'm showing you all the tips and the tricks. All right, so that's that. For, oh, I have one more over here. So let me add this one. So I'm gonna add this guy, fluff, 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 like this. And I'm going to add this guy, maybe right here on the bottom. Maybe right here in the middle, like that. Look how much depth and dimension that gave us, right? All right, so now I'm going to add this super fun, oh my gosh, this is so fun, this iridescent ball. It looks like something from Dr. Seuss, don't you think? I love it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this iridescent ball spray right here, letting it come out like that. How fun. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to this side right here, like that. Mm, I don't like it right there, maybe like this. There you go. A little better like that. Then I'm gonna go like that making sure that I fluff these ornaments that are in it to make it look even more cute and sweet. I'm gonna go around, sorry to disappear for a second. El truco. <laughs> El truco, the disappearance. Call me Houdini, Houdini, how was his name? Houdini, Houdini. Right, remember to this one added going up like this. Look you guys, how sweet is this? But the cutest pick I selected is going to be this. Look at this, you can pull them up. 
and it's going to be so cute in here. So I'm gonna add this guy right here. Look, just one, how it really does bring your eye. It just makes your eye travel through the tree. You can pull them, you can't, uh, it's up to you. I like to pull them to make them look a little bit more fluffier. And that also catches the light so beautifully. Look at that. All right, so I have one right here, right here. I'm gonna add one right onto the top. Maybe all the way, all the way all the way like that because remember what goes up must come down we always have to make sure that we have the same elements all throughout our design so that way it's cohesive so i'm going to go over to this side right here and it's so important also that you guys step away from it and look at your tree to see where it is that you need some of the elements because you don't want to have a tree that has everything on one side. And when we're working on it, we tend to just go to like the one side that we're working. That's why I'm always... Oh, okay. That's cool. That's fine. That's fun. He always, he's always trying to play with the tools. All right, so I'm going to go over to this side and put it right here. Oh. Making sure that it really goes through. Um, I have this white pick that I think is going to really elevate the look because it has that frosting look to it and is going to blend in with all of this white. It's going to extend the shape of our tree a lot. Look at that. You see that? How much depth and dimension. Now with this particular one, you do have to make sure that you fluff really good so that way you get the max amount. Look at that. How absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to add a few more like right here on the bottom. I'm gonna put one right here, right under my Christmas, and I'm sorry, my Christmas tree with my cake. I'm gonna add a few more over to the other side, and I'll be right back with you to give you the end result. Keep watching. And here is the end result. I love the way this tree turned out, you guys. Look how absolutely gorgeous. The ribbon with the little polka dots right here, it was my Julia Roberts ribbon. And this right here, the supporting actress ribbon is so pretty. That glitter is so cute. I cannot wait. And look at this right here. Isn't that fun? You guys, the ornaments with the iridescent glow, like I said, they catch the light. And this right here, it's my favorite so far. I love it. It is perfect for a little girl's room or just a sweet shop. I really hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I cannot wait to read your comments. So what do you guys think? Wasn't this just so much fun? I love a whimsical theme when it comes to the Christmas decorating season and this beautiful pink cake sweets was just so gorgeous. But I cannot wait to read your comments. So be sure to let me comment down below and let me know what was your favorite part about this video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because you will not want to miss all of the Christmas decorations coming your way for the 2024 season. If you have not seen the past videos with the Nutcracker, the Glam, and also the Christmas trends, I'm going to put a list right here so you guys can catch up and be inspired for the Christmas season. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing. And as always, you can watch more videos right now. Until next time, bye.